Governor Saludo has maintained his resolve to solve the problem of existential threats and are able to restore law and order in Anambra State. The governor stated this during a statewide broadcast as a follow-up to the ongoing demolition in Onitia. Government House correspondent Valentine but have filed this reports taken. For that Anambra State Government on 7th July 2022 began the implementation of urban regeneration in Onitsha as structures built on water waste are being demolished. Governor Soludo stated that law and order must return to Anambra for things to function well and maintained his resolve of implementing the master plan of Onitsha. He also used the opportunity to address the controversy over the demolished church of Pastor Odumeje of the Holy Ghost Intervention Church, noting that notice has since been served to all affected developers and building owners, including churches. The governor noted that the cooperation of Indianambra will play a key role in achieving a livable and prosperous Anambra state. He maintained that having consequences for any unlawful action is part of the new order. The um, we made good our promise to begin the process of demolishing several of these illegal structures. Um, in Onitsha particularly, and particularly to be able to open again the waterway uh, that goes into the river Niger. Over the years, people have with impunity built houses, all manner of houses, including churches, along the waterway, and the consequence has been that the drainages are blocked, water days floods during the rainy season in particular, no longer get into river Niger. And then the streets and the roads of flooded, killing people every year. Killing people every year. People die. Properties are destroyed. Our roads become emergency rivers whenever it rained. But this cannot go on. We began the process of reclaiming back our state, taking back our city, rebuilding our nature. Uh, urban regeneration cannot take any, cannot gain traction without cleaning the waterways, getting the place clean and green. And we began that process yesterday. The governor recalled that he had several consultations with the owners of the illegal structures before the demolition and noted that the demolition will continue until the purpose is achieved. The governor also frowned at the way people erect illegal structures in main market. Governor Solud warned that no one should frustrate the resolve of the present administration in the state to give Anambra a new look. Noting that their actions has caused the state so much damage, Governor Soludo said that the defaulters should be apologizing to the Anambra and maintain that those concerned will pay the bills accrued to the job the state is doing by removing the structures. The governor also said that those that gave approval to erect such illegal structures will also be held publicly accountable for maintaining that there must be consequences for misconduct in the new Anambra. On the 1st of April, all the buildings that actually block the waterways were all marked by the Fiscal Planning Authority. Those affected new. On the 20th of April, I sent my deputy governor to go and hold literally like a town hall meeting with all the landlords affected. Those who didn't come sent representatives on the 20th of April. On the 5th of May, I went myself to Anisha and had a town hall meeting with Anisha landlords. <laughs> It's a full death thing. But in between there, there were like 10 days of public announcements by the Anambra Broadcasting Service to the people to know, for the public to know. Even the deaf in Anambra knew that these properties along the Sakamori and many other illegal structures have been marked for demolition. We pleaded with the owners to please remove these things by themselves. And three good months. They were supposed to be given two weeks. Three good months. April, May, June passed. We gave sufficient time, sufficient notices. The government will just make noise and go away. It will never happen. Of course, I want to assure the Anambra, we are determined to restore law and order to Anambra.
were determined to build this livable and prosperous homeland. And it must start with restoration of security, restoration of law and order, where rule of law prevails. 